Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the New York City Subway Transit System Car Delivery Review. This is part 3 of the commentary and I am your host Norman with the Transportation Hub YouTube channel. And today in part 3 we will be talking about the fast forward plan for CB CBTC equipped A division cars. Alright, so as we all know that in five years the IRT Lexington Avenue line will be CBT CBTC equipped. And in five years after Lexington CBTC, the IRT Seventh Avenue Broadway the IRT Broadway dash seventh avenue line will also be CBTC equipped. So, 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 on the agenda we talk about today is the R142A CBTC conversion and upgrades, 220 cars, the ones that have not been converted into R188 for CBTC on the 7 line, the R142's CBTC conversion and upgrades up to 1030 cars and the new subway cars that will have CBTC already equipped prior to delivery. The R262 the new fleet to replace the R2 the R62 and R62A A, which is the grand total of well, 1139 cars plus growth cars. The growth cars is for fleet expansion. Okay. Okay, you guys. Okay, sorry. Fast forward plan R142A. The project details CBTC conversion and upgrade of 220 R142A A division subway cars. Okay, so upgrade key subsystems, leverage and lessons learned from the R188 upgrades to improve fleet reliability, doors, HVAC, brake and brake controls. Install CBTC in support of the Lexington Avenue line. So as we all know that the R142A now only runs on the six train line, all right. Now currently runs on the six train line, and it was manufactured by Kawasaki, and it was delivered along with the R142s that was designed by Bombardier for the four and six line. It was delivered. The first R142 car set was um. 7200 7200 was was the first whoa not 7200 I'm sorry actually it was car number 7211 to 72 that started regular service on the sixth train during months of testing and resolving all delivery issues. During delivery, there were minor issues reported between the R142s by Bombardier as well as the R142As by Kawasaki. A total, okay, so originally, sorry, just looking for the details right here. 
originally a total of 600 cars. A total of 600 cars of R142A was delivered to New York City Transit and they ran service on the 4 and 6 lines. Sometime later in um sometime later in 2013 in 2013 a total of 380 cars 71 71 no 72 11 to through um, 7590, a total of 380 cars have been retrofitted with CBTC for Flushing Line CBTC service and were converted into R188s. Cars 50, 7591 through 7810, the remaining 220 cars are still part of the R142A fleet. So remember the cars I told you, the 380 cars, subway cars, that was on the 6th train line, was removed from the 6th train line, was, retrofit, was retrofitted into communications-based train control equipment, and was installed, installed and was put on the 7th line for flushing line communications-based for communications-based train control <laughs> operation 220 cars car numbers 7550 7591 through 7810 remained in service and whatever and whatever amount of R142As that the 6 train had went over was transferred over to the 4 train line all right the reason for the swap swap between the 6 and the 7 line is because the 6 and the 7 line they they believe it or not they have the same service pattern which in case they'll run local in Manhattan they'll make all the local stops in Manhattan and here's a sitch and will run local service at all times in in Manhattan as well as the outer boroughs of Manhattan, but here's a sitch. For the six train, some six trains will run express in the Bronx to Manhattan. That's AM rush and up to midday service up to twelve PM twelve PM, twelve thirty PM, I believe. And then from somewhere in the afternoon time from one o'clock, one fifteen all the way to 8.45 or 9 o'clock the latest. Six trains will run Bronx Pelham Express from Manhattan. Okay, on to the seven train. The seven train had that feature, had that similar same service pattern I just mentioned for the six just now, but it was ultimately discontinued. So now they have trains that run Express in Queens towards Manhattan during the AM rush hours. All right, and from approximately 3:05 p.m. all the way to 9:40 p.m. minutes to 10, seven trains will run in express will run express to Flushing Main Street, Queens, from Manhattan. The R62As that were on the seven line were displaced to the six prior to communications-based control installation. And all of the new technology cars, the R142As that you saw that was once on the 6, have now been converted into R188s for communications-based control 7-train service. Alright, so since Lexington Avenue is going to get communications-based train control support installation, there's, they're installing CBTCs on the R142As are currently running on the 4. Alright? And the post-contract award will be somewhere in 2019. The R142s by Bombardier. Okay, CBTC conversion and upgrade of 1030 R142A division subway cars. System upgrades with implementation of full 
SN Network, install CBTC in support of Lexington Avenue, key replace subsystems including communications, doors, propulsion, braking, and HVAC, and integration state-of-the-art monitoring and diagnostic system. Okay, guys, so here's the sitch. The R142s are currently operating on the 2, 4, and 5 lines. With the 2 and the 5 trains sharing, that's sharing the same fleet of R142s. So I don't know how this is going to play out because it says install CBTC in support of Lexington Avenue line. All right. So I don't know so I don't know if there's going to be another R62A R142 swap in the near future between the 2 and the 6 because since because think about it since Lexington Avenue is going to get CBTC first in 5 years and five years after that will be Seventh Avenue and Broadway, and they want to install the CBTC on the R142s in support of Lexington Avenue, in support of the Lexington Avenue line. I don't know. Some swap might happen between the two and the six. I don't know. I don't know if that's what MT is thinking. Because I don't want the two train riders to lose their new technology train because because they have gotten so they have gotten fairly used to the R one forty twos for years now. For nearly two decades now, okay? The R one forty twos has been dominating the two sub the number two subway line for 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 nearly two decades now. Okay? From the moment the train sets were delivered and entered service and tested and, and what of you, they've been owning the number two subway line. So I don't want no displacement between the two and the six where the two trains R one forty twos are transferred to the six and the two train gets six trains R sixty two A's like like I don't think that's gonna happen, but I was looking forward to that happen. I would just rather just keep the just keep the R one forty twos on the two train. Okay. And keep the R sixty two A's on the six train line until until all of the C B T C six C B T C signals are installed on the Lexington Ave on the Lexington Avenue line. And the schedule for said proposed contract award it will be in 2019. <laughs> so so since so since the R142 and R142A were delivered together, they should be in a contract together. That's the way how I see it. Same same thing with the R62s by Kawasaki and R62As by Bombardier. Okay, okay, the best for last, the fast forward plan R262. Here is our project details for this train, for this new technology train. Purchase of approximately, no it's not approximately, it's going to be a full blown, it's going to be a full blown purchase of 1500 A division subway cars and a total replacement of 1139 R62 and RC and R62A fleet plus fleet expansion CB CBTC equipped trains to support overall acceleration of CBTC car design utilizing the latest R211 technical specifications requirements as a baseline including open gangway full Ethernet network so as you guys all know you, we already know about the R211s cuz we talked about this multiple times we, we touch up on it we discuss about about the R211s and what they're going to be about 
if you look at it, the R262s are exactly like a Zach full spinoff. The R262s are like the A division of the R211s. It's going to be like the R211s, except that the R262s will have three doors on each side. Because it's the A division subway car, three doors on each side, while the R211s will be like any other A division car, will have four doors on each side. Four doors on each side, alright? And you know what? It's time for the A division. I say it's I say that it's time to end the era of electronic strip maps and install a flexible information display system. Something that we have that's fully similar something that has fully similar to the R one sixties and the R one seventy nines that we have. Oh, oh, oh another thing. The B divisions, um, R143s, their electronic strip maps need to go to and be replaced with the with the flexible information and display system. So, as you all know, the R2, the R62s are currently dominating the three line, with one set on the one subway line, and the R62As are currently on the 42nd Street shuttle as well as the one and six lines. So so the lines I just mentioned as R sixty two and R sixty two A's will have the R sixty twos R sixty twos two sixty twos running on those lines. Short, sweet and simple. So both RT RT West and RT East will have R262s twos running on those lines. And fleet expansion. So we might so we might see them on on the two, four, five, and even the seven and even the number seven subway lines. That's and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the CBTC installation. Oh, oh, and the proposed contract award, the award will be announced in the future capital pro in the future capital program. Because remember, we are in the final year of the 2015-2019 capital plan program. So it'll be announced during the 2020 and 2024 2024 capital program. So please enjoy. And that's pretty much the end of the commentary. If you enjoy all three parts of this exciting commentary, make sure that you like, rate, comment, share this video, and subscribe to the Transportation Hub YouTube channel for more hot daily fresh transportation content until until next time everyone peace and have a blessed day